Hi everyone, if you are new to this channel, in this series of going solo videos I am using the final mission of the Dragon's Gambit campaign as a test bench for different mechs, weapon loadouts and variants. This is because this mission presents a good opportunity to explore different tactics and the possibility of fighting long and close range combat. And also, I am going into this battle by myself, so we could better see and compare how each mech survives and performs in exactly the same kind of scenario. Now, as far as this series go, I've shown you a bunch of different assault mechs, I've shown you quite a few different heavy mechs, and today, in today's video, we are going to take a look at another heavy mech. Perhaps this is going to be the last uh, video of the series featuring a heavy mech before uh, I start stepping into the medium mech category. But anyways, today's uh, heavy mech in question is going to be... Um, a somewhat controversial mech in the uh, battle tech uh, franchise. Controversial uh, because uh, some people say that it's a nice and versatile chassis, while others say it's a jack of all trades and master of none. And this mech is the Thunderbolt. Now, uh, while, like I said, uh, some say it's a nice and versatile chassis, while others say that it's a jack of all trades and master of none, I would say that it can actually be both. It can be both depending on how you configure it. Again, it's all dependent on the particular configuration. So, let's take a look at this somewhat uh, one of the most common variants, which is the TDR-5S. Before we are gonna take a look at my loadout, let's actually take a look at the original stack configuration. As a matter of fact, this is actually, you know, the same kind of weaponry that uh, I use. So here we've got two machine guns, one LRM-15, three medium lasers, SRM-2, and one large laser. This is, you know, quite a versatile and co uh, a wide array of weaponry in here. And it's also got five single hit sinks. Now let's take a look at what I've done to this. Well, I haven't even really done all that much, except, you know, of upgrading all the weapons to the 5-tier level weapons. Uh, and allocated the heat sinks, and also I've done some armor allocation as well. I've allocated everything mostly, you know, towards the front, and I, I maxed everything out as far as, you know, the, the torso is concerned and the arms. Which is something that I always do. And then, you know, to be able to meet the required tonnage, I had to shave off, actually in this qu case, quite a bit of points of the legs. You know, I had to shave off uh, nine points of each leg, nine points of armor, which is, you know, a pretty considerable number. But anyways, this is, you know, how I like to configure it. However, however, I don't think that this kind of uh, weapon configuration is going to be quite appropriate for the mission which we are about to face, which is the final mission of the Dragon's uh, campaign, um, Dragon's Gambit campaign. Uh, uh, simply because um, when you look at this LRM ammunition, you know, true tons is a bare minimum for this LRM-15. It's gonna uh, consume it rather quickly. For that matter, for that matter, what I think, uh, what I'm gonna do, as far as this particular mission is concerned, 
I am going to focus more on a medium to short range combat rather than the long range combat. And for that matter, I am going to go ahead and downgrade this LRM-15 to LRM-10 instead. And then I will get rid of uh, one of this um, LRM-10 ammunition. I will keep only one ton, and that is okay, because with one ton of LRM ammunition, you will be able to shoot this LRM-10 44 times, which is a reasonable amount, okay? It's not going to be our primary weapon in this case, obviously. But what I am gonna do instead, while using, you know, the th three available tons, which we just freed up, I am going to upgrade SRM-2 to SRM-4, and I am going to take one extra ton of SRM ammunition. This way I will be able to shoot this without having to worry about running out of SRM ammunition. That should be, you know... I will, uh, with the two tons of SRM uh, ammo, I will be able to shoot the SRM-4 like 160 times. Which is plenty for absolutely any kind of mission. I won't have to worry about running out of it. Now, uh, the biggest problem perhaps with this chassis and with all of the single hit sinks, the five single hit sinks are barely enough for this build. For that matter, what I am gonna do, I will use this uh, one extra ton for one additional single hit sink. Now, here is the thing. Here is the thing. Yes, I do have, you know, a somewhat a decent amount of double hit sinks in this collection. Still, uh, I kind of have them reserved for my favorite variants and mostly for my assault mechs. And also, and also, what I wanna do here, I don't, yeah, I don't necessarily wanna equip this with double hit sinks. Okay, of course we can equip it with double hit sinks and use some more, you know, tonnage for more advanced weapons. But I am not gonna do that, simply because, first of all, um, it's gonna, as you can see, it's gonna take 11 days to complete all of these changes which I've already done. The mission starts in 17 days, if I will do too many changes, including, you know, double hit sync replacement, that is gonna uh, most certainly take more time than that. It's not gonna be done uh, before the mission starts. And another reason why I don't want to do that is because if you take a look at this, this is a somewhat accessible and budget build, the early in career type of build. When uh, you start your career early in the year of 3015, for instance, you are not going to have any double hit sinks in your possession, hardly any, and you won't have a bunch of fancy weapons either. Even though I've upgraded every weapon here to the 5 tier uh, level weapon, still uh, the types of weapons are actually, you know, pretty basic and pretty common weapons. Nothing really fancy in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this work order in here. This is once again going to be this somewhat budget build accessible build and let's see if it's gonna be adequate for this mission now let's quickly take a look at the uh, upgrades and weapon groups actually weapon groups are quite important in here because uh, since this uh, mech utilizes a wide array of weaponry this is the only mech actually it's one of the two mechs in which i utilize all six weapon groups the only other mech where where i do something like this is that a bunchy bnc dash 3s variant that one of my uh, favorite uh, variants one of my favorite mechs of all times i've done a couple of videos about it please check those out so that also has uh, um, 
that also has wide array of weaponry and there I also use uh, six weapon groups typically typically I don't use any more than five groups but anyways here is what we've got one group for large laser uh, the other for the dual machine guns the um, other for the medium lasers being shot in the alpha strike uh, other for SRM4 and lastly you know group 6 for uh, LRM10 and uh, the group 5 is always reserved for the like melee weapons which are you know the, the fists in this case all right now the upgrades uh, not a lot of upgrade slots uh, only five slots so here i use two of my standards the internal structure and armor reinforcement then uh, other three are going towards the increase of the firing rate of uh, all these weapons anyways let's uh, let's go ahead you know without further ado let's go ahead and take this mission let's see if this thunderbolt and moreover the budget thunderbolt build which i've made in here can survive this kind of mission let's see if it if it can do something like that right so let's go ahead and start this mission Now, let's approach things very, very carefully here. Just remember, this is a 65-ton heavy mech. This is not the assault mech with a bunch of armor. Let's be very, very careful. somewhat hard it's not terrible it's not her terrible it's manageable but we do need to be mindful of that as well six single hit sinks is is somewhat a minimum a bare minimum for uh, for this kind of configuration okay where do we go next the archer okay this is the other thing that we have to be mindful of. Let's be very careful with the way we approach all of these missile bolts in here. I'm gonna try my best getting into their minimum range, the LRM minimum range. The close range, they can't really do much. Okay, close. Oh man, oh man, it's quite busy in here, it's quite busy in here, that's a lot of enemy targets. Okay, 
got him, but now I need to retreat. I need to pull down a little bit, and it's way too many, too many mechs in this area. Remember, this is not Atlas. This is a Thunderbolt. The armor isn't isn't the biggest there is. Okay, let's try to shoot him in the back where his armor is the biggest. There it goes. That was very nice. Let's try the same thing with this Asa. Let's see if we can do this before he spots us. Obviously this is uh, working. We did this while they were distracted. Okay, what else is out here? I remember there was some archer unless they uh, finished him off, the, the friendly forces. Uh, let's see, no, no, nothing, nothing so far. Let's uh, recon a little bit. Anything out here? No. Ah, okay. So they are coming from that direction. Target destroyed. Watch him. Okay, yeah. The, they are coming from over there now. Right, the Zeus. Yeah, let's let's grab his attention. I wanna drag him over here. Oh, okay, okay, he spotted me. And his armor in the back is gone. You know what? I wanna find the way of finishing him off from the back, but I don't think it's gonna work. Ah! It might, it might. We'll deal with this Orion later while he's distracted. Uh, is he coming after me? Because I wanna finish him off while shooting in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Perfect, perfect. Nope. Ah. Okay. All right, all right. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. Now let's work on this Orion. You know, this Thunderbolt isn't exactly the most agile mech there is. Yes, it's somewhat on a lighter side, it's 65 tons, but at 65 tons, to be honest, I would expect a little bit more agility and more man maneuverability, but it's not quite the case, though. New it's not quite Calico. the case, though. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of this guy, because he's pretty nice in this company. Let's get rid of him. Okay, and there is something else uh, down there. Uh, someone was throwing alarms as well. And we have another enemy wave coming in. Okay. What do we get this time around? Uh, Banshee, okay. Our assigned mech yeah, target Thunderbolt. is on the field. Let's take it down. And the Zeus. Let's work on this uh, missile boards first. The ones with color M's. I would actually focus on this. On this Zeus. Man. Yikes. Yikes. Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's get closer. I wanna try to get into his minimum range. There he goes. There he goes. Oh man, I I am about to lose my arm. Who is it uh, 
throwing those LRMs at me. Oh man, it's that archer. I hate those things, those missiles. Let me see. If, let me see if I can drag this guy into a into a close range about to lose the target. Which is my large laser and Ah, yeah, it was was a large laser, but the, on the other hand I won't be running this up. Okay, then we have this and then we will have this uh Griffon, right? I should have been a bit more careful. I didn't realize there was that nasty archer behind me. Hmm. He might he might be still there. That's the that's the problem. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. want him to get a lock on me. Working on him from the ambush also throwing the LRMs. So far I am able to retain a good lock. Okay, it works, it works. Right, all right, he's about to go, he's about to go, he's center also in a bad condition, this might be the last. Yes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, all right, all right. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, another, yeah, as you can see I've lost, uh, I've lost an arm, which was my large laser. Let's try not to lose anything else. Let's try to do my best. Let's approach things very, very carefully. Okay, target, what do we get assassin. here? Assassin, target Zeus, of Marauder. The Orion. Yeah, this guy. I am gonna try to drag him over here so that, you know, I could... I could uh, destroy them one by one. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect kind of situation. All right, all right. Nice, nice. He's distracted and sh shooting him in the back. Oops, oops. Let's not, let's not. Uh, uh, that marauder. Let's. Okay, there he goes. Uh, marauder now. Uh, some kind of mech, heavy mech is shooting me in the back, I, I, I need to prioritize this marauder though. Let's stay mobile. Oh, he's got a thermal shutdown, he's got a thermal shutdown, that's a perfect opportunity to destroy him. And now this nasty little guy, but he's gonna go down very soon, it's just, you know, the assassin, not a very good mech by the way. Pretty weak, pretty weak. But it can run very fast. His legs are in bad shape. There he goes, okay. Well, I've got to be super careful now because the armor on my right leg is gone. It appears you have a hunger to die. Don't worry. We will accommodate you. This might be the last wave. Then what are you waiting for? Come on! This might be the last wave. Let's be super Victor, careful. Victor. Victor. Target, yeah, the main guy right there. The, the main guy right there. The long pole. That's the thing I wanna get rid of. First. Let's 
so let's hit him from the up. I will use up every single LRM I can. Ah, okay, they've spotted me, they've spotted me. Now I get to deal with the Orion, perhaps. Ah, uh, now he's got this... Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Look, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Let's, let's, let's see if we can finish him off in the back. Nice, nice. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, let's be careful, let's be careful, though. Let's not do anything stupid. Again, the armor on my leg is gone. Uh, not in a very good situation. It looks like we, we've got only two friendlies left. Let me try to get close to that long pole. That is the greatest threat. I'm gonna try to sneak in behind. It's awesome. Actually, actually, while this longbow doesn't see me, I'm gonna try to stab in the back of this main guy. Come on, 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 come on. Oh no, oh no, no way, no way, no way. Ah, jeez, I'm down to. situation to be found in and my leg is about to go my leg is about let's get farther let's get farther he is about to explode nice nice okay okay Whew. let me actually you know step aside for a moment let's let's see what's going on so there is this longbow my greatest threat my greatest threat that longbow hopefully hopefully these two friendly guys will distract him so i could get close enough and my leg is about to go unfortunately my leg is about to go yep they are working on him at a close range let me get close to him uh, let me get beyond the uh, uh, 200 meter uh, uh, radius or whatever that uh, LRM minimum range. Then he's gonna be pretty much de defenseless. Okay, all right. His his leg is gone. Let's let's work on his leg. There he goes, there he goes. All right, all right, all right. Well, you know what? You know what? This mech, this 65 tonner is actually impressed me in a nice way. Yes, we did lose an arm. Uh, we actually, uh, we've lost both arms, but hey, I've done worse than that. I've done worse than that. Remember like one of those Black Knight videos where I barely made it alive? It's a better situation here, though. It's a better situation. So, I mean, at 65 tons, losing components is uh, kind of expected, given the difficulty of this mission. Uh, let's uh, let's assess the damage and see the, the number of kills now. Twenty mech kills. You know, this is quite something, okay? This is quite something. This, uh, remember, this is a 65-ton heavy mech, okay? It's not the assault mech. It's not even, like, the heaviest heavy mech, like, 75 tons. For a 65-tonner, that is a pretty darn uh, impressive number. This is a darn impressive number. This is very, very good, actually. Uh, I'm surprised in a good way. Yeah, I mean, we've lost arms. The leg is about to go, but we still made it. We still made it. And that uh, actually, you know, should tell you something about this mech. Okay, let's see the damages. Well, 
as we already know, we've lost arms, the leg was about to go, let's see, yeah, we'll have to replace the la lasers, the, uh, the large laser and machine guns, but the torso is fine, the torso is fine, looks like it's just an armor damage. Uh, nothing much. Let's uh, let's see if we were to repair it. Yeah, obviously arms need to be repaired. Uh, yeah, structure left arm, right arm, the leg, of course. Yeah, but then you know the head and the torso is just an armor. So not not the worst I've done, and it's like only 18 days. Not too expensive, because this is a heavy mech, not the assault mech. Yeah, you know what? Uh, this is actually, you know... To be honest, this is better than I expected. This is better than I expected. The heat management wasn't terrible. It wasn't as terrible as, let's say, if you have only five single heat sinks, I will put it this way. It was manageable. Uh, I did not get any thermal shutdowns, uh, I was mindful, I, w I was managing it and it paid off. It did very well, it did very well. Yeah, I do think it's a versatile mech, it's a versatile chassis and you can, uh, you can actually, you know, modify it. I wouldn't necessarily call any build as like the ultimate build. Um, you should be able to change things accordingly as I did for this mission. Might take some time. But for this mission this loadout obviously worked. It, were, it, it worked uh, very well and I think it's a pretty good uh, mech and a pretty good consideration if uh, once again if you are like early in the campaign. And this is also a budget build, without double hit sinks or any like fancy weapons. So yeah, yeah, it works. Now, would I call this as my uh, all-time favorite mech? No, I won't. No, I won't, simply because within the heavy mech category, my all-time favorites are once again that Marauder, the one I've shown you, the Warhammer, both variants that I've shown you, one more advanced with double hit sinks, and the other one that Marvelous uh, budget build uh, with single hit sinks and two lasers. Absolutely fantastic. And then perhaps the Black Knight, but the Black Knight uh, specifically the early variants, the Star League era variants, not the downgrade, the the Succession Wars variant, uh, the, the the early Star Star League era variants. Those are my all-time favorites. The uh, the only thing is that those uh, mechs, uh, the ones I've mentioned, they don't have any LRMs. Let's say if I need LRMs, uh, the, the mech which has LRMs and not just a uh, missile platform, but also has other weapons. I would probably choose the Orion over this one. Dash 1K variant. One of the oldest ones. Yeah, I will go for that one. Instead of this. And then... For a close-range, uh, 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 purely close-range uh, mech, it's that Archer, the, the melee variant, yeah. But this one is okay, you know, if I get to pilot something like this, I wouldn't really complain all that much. It can do the job, it can do the job, I will put it this way. Alright, so, this is my take on this um, Thunderbolt. And very much like I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video, as far as this going solo series are concerned, this is going to be perhaps the final video of this series utilizing heavy mechs before I start stepping into the medium mech category. Now, let's... Uh, 
let's summarize a few things and let's also see what other heavy mechs uh, which I have available in this collection and which I haven't tested so far. Let's uh, let's quickly do that. Let's do let's rearrange by the tonnage things in here. So to begin with the heaviest heavy mechs, let's uh, let's see. These are the Black Knights. I've tested three different variants so far. Two absolutely great ones, the Starlink era variants, and then somewhat like the downgraded variants, the Succession era variants. Did all right. Then Marauder MAD-3D, my absolute favorite variant as of the year of 3039. I like MAD-5D variant better, but it's not available yet as uh, the year of uh, 3039. It, it was important from the career which I finished in the year of 40, I mean 3049, okay, 10 years from now. So that's why I haven't tested it, but you know, prior to the, uh, that uh, this year, MAD-3D is the variant to go to, as, as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely amazing, all-time classic. Then we've, I've tested some couple of Orions, close-range variant, and, you know, somewhat like the versatile long and close-range build. Uh, ON-K variant I was talking about. This dash M variant doesn't exist yet in this. Here, yeah, those did fine. Again, I would choose that over the Thunderbolt. Then I've tested this absolutely amazing Archer, the melee variant. Close range mech. Very niche kind of mech, but it absolutely excels at what it does. Very special, specialized mech, but it excels at its specialization. Absolutely amazing, my go-to melee mech. Then, these are the team players, okay? This is the, you know, uh, Dash R, True R variant. This is a long-range missile support mech. This one doesn't exist in a vacuum. This is a team player. I wouldn't necessarily go solo with this one because it's uh, it's uh, it's there to provide a long range missile support for for your team, for a team of you know lance mates. Then what else? Uh, there is this uh, actually versatile hero variant. You know, maybe I should actually check check out this hero variant. I don't play hero mechs uh, very often these days, but a lot of people like them. So maybe this is what I should do before. Yeah, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Then what I haven't tested were the cataphracts. They are okay. They are okay. There is nothing fancy or special about them. I do like them. I can be even somewhat successful while using them, but I'm not sure if it's gonna worth the time trying them in this mi mission. It may work, it may not. Honestly, I don't care. Let's move on. Let's move on. Unless unless you guys absolutely want me to, to, to test them out, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna move on. Grasshopper, uh, the 5N variant. Again, this particular variant doesn't exist as of the year of 3039. Not gonna test it in this mission for that reason. Now, I've done this Warhammers. Absolutely amazing. Performed admirably. They are classics for a reason. Then I've also shown this absolutely amazing budget build variant. Absolutely fantastic. And if you can survive this mission while using these two variants, there is no need to try this hero Warhammer because obviously it's gonna work it's gonna work if this two work this one will definitely work so no need to waste time ch testing it in this mission then what else i've shown true catapults 
uh, specifically the house curitas, uh, ha -ha -ha the curitan variant of catapults, not the uh, LRM based ones, but the uh, uh, dual PPC variants. They did okay, they did okay. We did lose some components though, but again, this is a 65 ton uh, heavy mech, which is somewhat to be expected. There is this hero variant that I have with AMS, but to be honest, uh, AMS at this point still considered to be as, uh, as a lost tech, so I don't think I, I, I should use it in this mission for, for that matter. Then I've got a couple of Crusaders, which we haven't uh, tested yet, but the way I view Crusaders, again, it's kind of like that missile-based uh, archer. It's a team player. It's not particularly great for a solo kind of uh, mission. This is, you know, to provide a long-range missile support. Like, I, I like this mech when I have, like, three Marauders in my lands. And taking this one uh, Crusader alongside for a uh, long range missile support works great. Works re great. I don't think it's gonna be suitable for this mission as a solo player. Although, although it does have some, you know, short to medium range fighting cap capability as well, given the fact it's got some SRMs and medium lasers and machine guns as well. But let's move on let's move on unless unless you guys absolutely want me to try this please let me know if you want me to i will do this but otherwise i will just move on okay and then what else are we left with the dragons the hero dragon uh, that i've got in here and this dash one n variant i don't think this weaponry is going to be adequate for this mission to be honest and I don't quite understand this chassis. I've never been a fan of it, so I don't think I'm gonna do it for this mission. Then the quick draw. This is, you know, we are moving down to a 60 ton heavy mech category. The quick draw. I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Let's see. Should I bother? For medium lasers, uh, dual SRM lungers, uh, I don't know, probably not, probably not. This uh, doesn't really excel in any particular category, let's, uh, let's move on, I guess. Let's see what else, now <coughs> all mechs are messed up in here for some reason, let me actually, you know, see if it's gonna ascending and now descending let's see if it's gonna no it's it's all messed up once again okay so yeah moving down to 60 tons jagger mech yeah jagger mech uh i don't think it's gonna be quite adequate for this mission with all of those missile points in there i'm gonna lose the components i don't think it's gonna be quite adequate and then lastly the rifleman well frankly frankly i don't think they are gonna be adequate given uh, the amount of those missile boats in this mission and to be honest to be honest i am not happy with the way i configured them in this career i am not happy with the way i configured them I need to rethink my approach to this uh, rifleman chassis, even though I have some hero uh, variants. And the way I configure them, it's not gonna be adequate, and there is not enough time before the mission starts to reconfigure them. So I need to rethink my approach uh, to the rifleman chassis and. For that matter, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna test it in this mission. Yeah. So this is it. This is it as far as the heavy mechs category is concerned, and as far as this ca career is concerned. The only thing, though, the only thing, though, before I start stepping into the heavy mech category, perhaps I should probably 
test a couple of hero variants in this mission. Just for those people who like hero mechs. Perhaps, yeah, this is maybe something that I'm gonna do in the, in the next video. And then we'll start trying some medium mechs in this mission. Let's see if we can survive this mission as a medium mech pilot. All right, all right, well. So these are my, my plans for future videos of this series. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Please let me know which mechs would you like me to explore in the future. Thanks again for watching. This is it for this video. And until the next one. Have a nice day.